Okay, so in the earlier video, um, I actually forgot to mention something. So there is a concept of pruning, which uh, is actually used to increase the efficiency, right? I'll just take, take this example and I'll add to my, um, tell you like this. You see here, 135 was uh, accepted, right? Uh, 235 were accepted, but 123 and 125 were discarded. So in order to check the frequency or the support what we what we are doing we are actually uh, seeing the original table right uh, to check the number of counts but you can use pruning in order to do it fast so you see here uh, 135 was accepted so what are the subsets of 135 so it will be like this uh, okay so 13 one five i think three five right um yeah so you see here in order to uh, have this discarded i should have at least one of these uh, which were discarded in the earlier step so what is the count what was the count of one three you can check it from here right it was three one five it was two and three five it was three right so all were valid counts so since all of the previous steps uh, subset of one three five were valid so in the uh, in in the next step means in three item set we cannot discard it directly but you can check from one two three one two three got discarded right here you can see one two three got discarded how find out the subsets of 1 2 3 so 1 is 1 2 1 3 and 2 3 right so what was the count of 1 2 check it it was 1 1 3 it was 3 and 2 3 it was 2 so this one was discarded right in the earlier step so whenever you see that a particular item set in the earlier step in the earlier uh, frequent set got discarded you can right away discard this in the three item set so in order to discard one two three in the three item set you have to go back to the two item set two item frequency set and find out whether the subsets of one two three whether any one of them got discarded if any one of them got discarded in the earlier step then you can right away discard one two three in the three item frequency set okay so this is a uh, this is to increase the efficiency now um, is that is the reverse true and the reverse is not true because if i say that um, this this three two three uh, were accepted right all, all of these one three five among if i find out the subsets of one three five we got one three one five and three five so all were accepted in the earlier step so can i say that one three five should be accepted in the in the three item set no i cannot say that right maybe one three five together uh, is making a support of one maybe right here it is not not that case but it might happen okay so just by seeing the earlier subsets being valid i cannot say the next level item set will be valid that is not true but the reverse is or the converse is true if uh, the subsets of one two three if any of the subsets any of the subsets of one two three got discarded in the earlier step earlier frequency set i will right away discard one two three in the next step i don't need to look into the earlier tab, original table right i need to do, do not need to count the, um, um, the the frequency of one two three occurring together i can just uh, discard it by seeing one two got discarded in the earlier part right so this uh, uh, this is called pruning and this is actually in, uh, used to increase the efficiency right we can simply store it in a dictionary kind of structure or a map kind of structure and we can simply look look up that particular combination and if it doesn't match if it doesn't support uh, it was discarded in the earlier part we can simply right away discard it okay so the next video i'll, I'll actually talk about the rule generation part okay thank you